It may not be the first thing that comes to mind when people think of Montreal, but the city is fast becoming a popular place to hang 10. It's a well-kept secret, but there's a growing subculture of standing wave surfing on the St. Lawrence River. Here at La Vagagui in La Salle, surfers patiently wait their turn for a chance to stick the wave. Or not. It's 36 degrees today, and the wave is attracting surfers and spectators alike. This is Manuel's second season on the river. Uh, we head to Epic Surf and Skate Shop in La Salle to speak with surfer and co-owner Mike Lamontagne. Right now, uh, Montreal is one of the top-ranked river surfing scenes in the world. People have been catching waves in Montreal for only the last 10 years. It's relatively young. Before it was just maybe the odd uh, kayak and then somebody decided to try it on a board. It's everybody that tries it once pretty much gets the hang of it. Besides the LaSalle Rapids, Habitat 67 is the other main draw for urban surfers around Montreal. That's where we headed next to check out the surfing scene. River surfers all agree, hanging tent in Montreal is a very different experience than surfing in the ocean. There's a lot of current and you need to know how it works in order to catch the wave efficiently. These permanent standing waves result from rocks and other underwater river features. Although it's unsupervised, surfers say the sport is safe. And while those we meet are enthusiastic, they do advise newcomers to take lessons and make sure they are strong swimmers. You should try it out, it's really cool. As one of the world's premier river surfing destinations, Montreal does seem to have it all. It's safe, refreshing, and accessible. As the locals would say, surf sup, Montreal. From Concordia News, I'm Jordan Omond.